everyone and welcome back to another Gang Beast video. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm actually going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be telling you, uh, or showing you, a bunch of hidden details and secrets in the game. So, there are a bunch of these in like the different maps. Uh, like all of these maps, there's like, not, not all of them, but there are just a few secrets that um, you might have missed while you were probably fighting someone else, so that's why you probably missed them. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to go through them. So I hope you enjoy this video. I know it has been quite a while since my last video with my voice. Like, I think it was a Minecraft one, like the, the one on Block Wars Bridges. Uh, and it's been like ages since my last Gang Beast video with my voice, but... You know, I feel like now would be a good time to do another one. Uh, and yeah, you may have noticed as well that I've been uploading a lot of funny and epic moments videos. Like, but um, yeah, I've just been uh, having a lot of fun on that new trawler map. You may have noticed like millions of clips from that. Let's just get right into it. So the first map, we're going to be go going through them in, in order. The first one is Aquarium. So let's go. So what I'm going to be doing basically is showing you like a bunch of stuff that you might have missed. Now the first thing that I want to show you is this. Ever since the new trawler update, um, this shark has now been turned into one of the trawler sharks, which I think is pretty cool. Like, it used to be like a really weird looking shark uh, that yeah, wasn't found anywhere else, but it's just a little detail that I found. All right, the next thing are these names that are actually on the uh, glass of these tanks in the aquarium. This one, you can see here, it's the name of this shark. I can't really read that, but like, I can read a bunch, uh, a few of the others, I think. Like this one, it says cephalopod, uh, and then underneath it says hostile. That's probably why it's trying to attack us. Now this, this one over here, where these fish are, uh, I think it says something like, I think it says bulbous something. I don't really know what that bottom word is i'm not really sure how to pronounce it or if i can even read it i think it says pescus whatever that means but it, this one says crassus pescus or whatever that word is this one says gelata is that piscus i have no idea but um anyway here in this treasure chest as well you can see that there's a bunch of golden beef like the bone loaf logo that kind of sh symbolizes that you you'll see a lot of bone loaf symbols e around here and also another thing you can see through this kind of cage right here uh actually the enjoy meat kind of vending machine thing and the uh, other one and they're both found in subway as well and the enjoy meat one is actually a reference to coke the coke one because it says enjoy coke and i'm pretty sure the other one is a reference to pepsi which is quite cool that they decided to add that in and yeah that's that's pretty much all of the little easter eggs in this map uh so yeah let's just get on to the next one all right now the only real thing i wanted to say about billboard is that the place where this uh map is actually taking place is on the same road uh the same highway as trucks you, um i if i if i can climb this thing then i might yeah there you go you, you can see this road here and those uh uh, you can see those like electrical wires to the right, which is what you actually see on your left in the trucks map. So we, it's kind of like flipped the perspective. You can even see as well, uh, if I can just get a... You might not be able to see it, but you can see... Oh, there you go, yeah. You can see one of those signs that you find in trucks, which try to like knock, like kind of smash you off the edge. You can see one of those, which I think is quite cool. So it just definitely proves that this is actually on the same highway as trucks. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this map. Alright, Blimp, there are actually a few things to talk about in this map. The first one being that uh, this, the building kind of at the top, uh, where my Gangby's character is pointing, that looks like the building where um, elevators and gondola are taking place. Now, you may not know, but gondola and elevators are actually taking place on the same building. The reason why I know that, you can't actually see that without a glitch. And I just watched this video where there's like a glitch where the whole camera like zooms out really far and you can literally see the elevators from gondola, which I think is pretty cool. But um, yeah, another thing that, that um, needs to be said is uh, this, you can see there's kind of like a bridge over there. You can see those big tall uh, supports there, looks like some kind of bridge. Um, and you can actually see that from another map, so we'll come on to that a bit later. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all there is for this map. Okay, now Boy is very interesting. Uh, there isn't really much to be said about this map, like there's not really much in terms of like what you can see straight away, there's like pretty much nothing. But it's what you can see 
after a certain amount of time. Right, first of all, if you come right to the top, or at least near the top somewhat, you will be able to see this shark. Now, tell me if you can see it, but if not, I'll just like use an arrow somehow in the editing software. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah. it's like right in the top left from where I am, and it looks like it's just staying still. It's basically a shark sprite that isn't doing anything, and it's just staying still. Now, in a certain <laughs> amount of time, that that sprite will just like like zoom up into the air, and then a real shark will actually come for you. So if you survive long enough, then a shark actually comes and hunts you down. Uh, this is obviously after the trawler update, because that's when they kind of used sharks a lot more. But let's just wait a bit, and we'll see. Right, there you go. You may not have properly seen it because I moved the camera, but yeah, it did just rise up into the air. And now you can see right at the top there, there is in fact a live shark coming for us. Like, you can kind of see, like, it, it kind of emerges. It doesn't really emerge from nothing. It actually starts really far away and it slowly comes towards you. And then it, it kind of, what it does is it kind of breaks the, the, ice, the ice caps apart. And it kind of like just... Yeah, it, it doesn't really jump out and eat you, like the ones in Trawler. It kind of just swims around, and then it, it's kind of, yeah, look, it's kind of breaking, breaking stuff. Oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh, and as you can see, it can get a bit, like, a little bit glitchy with all of the, the icebergs, because it can kind of, like, make them rise up really high and stuff. It's, it's just quite cool, like... This is, I believe, the only shark to come out. And then, yeah, after a while, it does get a bit more aggressive and start actually, like, jumping out at you. Um, but, yeah, this, this is just a really cool thing that happens after a certain amount of time in Boy, just to make it a bit more interesting. And you can actually kind of use it to make the uh, icebergs, like, float away. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You can see they are quite, like, they're quite quick and a bit, like, oh, I want to say glitchy, but, like... I guess they are, but I, I don't know. And yeah, there you go, That they, they, he's kind of starting to kill me now. <laughs> Alright, the next map that I was going to do was going to be Elevators, because that, that does have quite a few glitches on it. But I'm pretty sure it's only on the old version, because I watched some videos uh, on how to do them, and, and I tried them, and they didn't really seem to work, or at least it, it would be like really hard to pull them off. So the next one, I guess now, is Girders. And basically the only thing about this is the view basically you can see a lot of like other maps well when i say a lot of i mean like two but still so as you can see over here there is lighthouse uh which is pretty cool you can just see it from all the way up here and that also gives you a bit of perspective like where lighthouse is uh in the entire city because this gives you like a massive view of it and you can also see right up like at the top of my screen are towers uh, the map towers is taking place on one of those but there are a few of them there which you can see i'm pretty sure they like i'm pretty sure um they have like like some kind of gas coming out of them or something and yeah you can just you can't it's really misty over there so you can't really see much but you can see that those are definitely the towers from that map okay straight off the bat in lighthouse you can see right up at the top where those big cranes are, that is containers. The map containers, <laughs> it is actually, you can see that there's water below the massive um, boxes. But if we just go all the way around here, um, you are able to see <laughs> this little thing in the water, uh, which actually I'm pretty sure is, well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. Uh, I think it's boy. <laughs> see over there, like just in the water. I know it looks really small, but like compared to other stuff, it kind of looks like about the right size. Uh, and you can also see um, wheel. You can see that kind of like that little uh, the wheel uh, right there. It was just kind of on the coast. Uh, and and also yeah, there's that bridge that you could also see from Blimp. And yeah, there's wheel. And yeah, what's really stupid is that you can see lighthouse from trawler and and according to that trawler should be like around here somewhere but sadly you just can't see it which is really annoying because like you pretty much get a view of the whole ocean here but you still can't see trawler i guess they probably because it's in it was in the newest update they probably haven't added it yet okay now we're on to roof and in this map the only thing that i really wanted to show you was what's actually behind these signs because they're facing kind of like a way that you can't really see but if you do this with the camera then you can see this another enjoy beef sign which is pretty cool and you can't really see what was um behind that sign but 
judging by this one piece right here, because it just falls to pieces, you, you can kind of guess that it's another enjoy beef sign once again. And also here, it's just like a really small thing, but there's actually a ladder here, and if you punch it or do anything to it, it just falls down, which I just think is quite funny, because it just shows that like there's pretty much no way down except for in that door, but you can't actually get in there, so it's almost like you're trapped. And I just find it quite funny. And then there's like an, there's an O down there, um, and that's because uh, it says awful. I actually have no idea what that means, but up here it also says it on this sign. So it might be the name of the building or something, I'm, I'm not really sure, but yeah, that's just what it says. Okay, in Subway, you can get a better look at these vending machines that, that you could see in an aquarium. Uh, the, these are indeed the, the same ones, and this one here is kind of like a reference to Pepsi, this one's a reference to Coke. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's that's actually pretty much all there is for this map, except there is another thing. Um, sometimes, you may have seen it before, but sometimes there's like a puddle of water here with like some cones around it. But, for, but sometimes there aren't as well, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like a 50-50, you, you might get them or not. Um, I, which I just think is quite cool because it gives a bit of variation to the map. Alright, in my opinion, Train has probably the biggest secret um, in out of all of the maps, like probably just in front of Boy, because something, you know, really cool happens after you survive uh, for a certain amount of time. But yeah, while we're waiting, I thought I, I might as well point out that on the side of the train it has the, uh, the Bone Loaf logo again. You can also see on the side of the front section of the train, um, it, it has the numbers 104 and then F. Um, and it, and you know, according to like certain numbers looking like letters, it looks like it, it looks like they were trying to spell out the word loaf, uh, again referencing bone loaf and everything, because that's just kind of what it, what you know, what Gang Beast is all about. All right, there we go. You can see just there to the right is a danger sign, and it has that symbol of uh, rocks falling down the side of a mountain. <laughs> now you can probably guess what's gonna happen. Uh, you may already know though, because like, it isn't too hard to survive for this long, but I guess on online, uh, it, can, it can get a bit chaotic. So that's probably why you may not have seen, you may not have seen this kind of secret ending before. And yeah, there you go, after a while, a bunch of tiny rocks just begin to fall from above and, and they do actually get a bit bigger and, and they're actually able to knock you out if they land a direct hit. Um, and you can pick them up, I'm not actually sure if you can like throw them and knock others out, but that could be quite a cool weapon if, uh, if there are still people that you're trying to defeat at this time. But yeah, it, oh yeah, wow, look at that one. So yeah, a massive one starts to fall and, and then they can actually knock you out. Uh, and yeah, it's just it's just pretty cool and fun just trying to avoid them. And yeah, this pretty much just goes on until right at the end, uh, where you'll you'll see what happens. But yeah, that this this is basically what it is now. Ow! <laughs> and yeah, here we go. Here is the ending. You can see right ahead. There's just a massive pile of boulders, and then just just what happens to the train here is just. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, so this is the ending of Train. If you happen to survive that long, that's that's what you get. Okay, next up we have trucks, and there's just a really small detail that I'd just like to show, uh, and that is the fact that there is a driver. You may not be able to see very well, but inside that little window there is actually like a, a red-skinned gang beast character. Um, and, I, and I think he, like, you can actually see it on the main title screen of Gang Beasts, so it may not be that much of a surprise, but like I just wanted to let you know that he is actually indeed in the game, and there is another one for the other side as well. And I'm pretty sure if you like... Yeah, there you go. If you cover his view of the road, he'll actually start honking the horn. Which I just think is quite... It's just quite a cool detail, you know? Right, the thing that I wanted to show you for this as yeah you can actually see it happening already uh it's oh god i better hold on while the vent is actually active basically what it is is there is a door on this side i'm pretty sure there's one on the other side too but this is the one that i'm gonna use um and if you just keep punching it uh you'll eventually kind of get it to open to the point where you can kind of like squeeze through so you can actually go in here if you just punch it for quite a while you might be able to get in Oh, there we go. Oh, it just happened. 
I think you have to like punch it from a certain angle so that you kind of like punch yeah. it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now I've kind of got my hand like lodged in between. I can kind of move it. I think if I if I do this, I, mean, I probably won't actually be able to do it. But you get the idea that this actually can be used as a really really good hiding spot. That if if you're playing online, this can be used as a great hiding spot. Uh, if you can actually if you actually manage to get it open. So that, that that's basically what I just wanted to show you. There is an option. There's also one on this side, which yeah you can just do the same with. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what it is. Okay, now it is the final and probably arguably the best map in Gang Beast, Trawler. Um, this map is obviously, I think it came out like about a month ago now, but it is just such a cool map, honestly. But yeah, the first thing, and probably the first thing that you, you'll see, <laughs> is Lighthouse, right there, up ahead. So yeah, that, that's why I was a bit confused as to why you couldn't see this boat from Lighthouse, because you can move the camera all the way around, I guess. The, the developers just didn't add it in and yeah I knew that would happen at some point oh my gosh oh bro epic save <laughs> all right another thing is containers again this definitely proves I mean if you didn't already think so this definitely proves that that is lighthouse because you can see containers from there and then yeah you guessed it from over here as well you, we can see uh we can see that little bridge that we could see from blimp uh, if we could if we could move the camera up more we we could actually probably see blimp like high up there flying somewhere because it's near to where that bridge is uh and then yeah you can just see the uh boy again and uh and wheel too so yeah there, there, there we go that's pretty much all there is to this map but I do. I did want to show one more thing. If if you just jump into the water and the camera goes underneath, uh, come on. Yeah, there you go. You can see over at boy, there is indeed the ice underneath the boy, or at least it looks like that was the uh the kind of ice caps around it all right guys the final thing i wanted to show you is actually in the football map alley um basically what there is uh if you kind of move the camera around here you can actually see that there are a few like wow i did not know that knocked you out <laughs> this is actually like one of my first times playing on this map because i barely ever do the football game mode not that it's bad it's just it's not really my favorite but yeah, you can actually see there, uh, just over there, there's like a sign that says Meat Flakes uh, with a chicken uh, with a chicken costumed gang beast on it. Which I think is really funny because it's like a reference to Corn Flakes, but it's Meat Flakes instead. I just think that's kind of uh, funny. There's also a sign that says Beef City, and then there's also a Wanted sign. So that kind of also proves that there's like a bunch of crime going on around here. All right, now that we're back on the main menu, you can actually see to the right is the uh, football, like the little football area in this alley. Uh, so it, it literally is right here uh, in the main menu. That's where this uh, football mode is taking place. If you go into settings, you can actually see the whole place right here. Although, uh, actually, yeah, this is the whole place. And you can see that the, the wire there you can see that now the the gate is open and the wire that you can see up there is the exact same wire that i knocked myself out on earlier so yeah it, it, it's just pretty cool that this is the same place all right i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was a bit of a long one uh naming like a bunch of secrets and easter eggs uh but yeah i hope i hope you enjoy it nonetheless um and yeah if there are any secrets or anything that i missed out on uh feel free to comment down below uh if yeah just feel free to comment down below if there are any that i missed i'm pretty sure i got quite a lot of them though uh but yeah i, I hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one which may be another gang beast one but at the moment i'm not really sure <laughs> uh so yeah bye